Hello everyone. Um, today I like to show you a small C note exercise. I call this real edge to line. Um, there is actually already an edge to line um, note, but uh, it is kind of buggy um, together with the um, poly effects. Um, let me first show you what I mean and then we build the note setup together. Okay, here you see I have uh, this uh, mesh here. Um, I built this just with a sphere and a bevel deformer, just for um, the explanation I like to show. Um, when you like to have those edges as splines, you can convert the sphere here to an object and then select all the lines. And then there is a command called edge to spline and that generates splines for you so hide it and now you have splines so and the cool thing here is uh, together with the poly effects you find this here under the homograph settings with the poly effects um, you can um, use effectors to scale those so make a plane effector and now set here to scale, absolute scale minus one. Then we use a linear field. Where is it here? And now um, go to the poly effects and uh, to object and set the mode here to partial polygons and splines and uh, now you can uh, can make kind of uh, whoops kind of uh, hot display effect i use this a lot uh, in my projects but uh, the problem of course you see um, it's not procedural so let me show you next step how we build this procedural with nodes and let me show you the problem with the normal edge to line node. Okay, first um, delete this one and this one, the poly effects we can use. And now here we have our sphere and then let's build a nodes generator called, uh, type in group, like the object group. This is a generator object where we can build nodes. So open it. Then we like to have feed the sphere here as child. So first let's make a child operator. Feed this in here and the children back to the inputs. Then go to edit resources go to children and set the scene port mode to object. Okay, now we can place uh, the sphere here as child of the object group. And you can see we have here uh, the child and the geometry of our child. So first we use the normal edge to line. Go here and search edge, edge to line. And this is pretty simple, feed in the geometry and the geometry to the output. And now we have here the geometry as lines, but uh, you can see when we use the poly effects, so put this under a null, feed in the poly effects. And now when we move the field, we see we have here some something going wrong here they go into, they go into the center but that's not what we like what we want so there is kind of a bug here in the edge to line so but don't worry we can build easy our own edge to line okay so first let's make a group and feed in the geometry and we call this the real 
edge to line then we jump in to the node and first what we need is the information of the of the geometry actually the edge information so there is a node called edge information feed the geometry in here and you can see here we have here the positions of, uh, of every point of edge so every edge has two points so point a and point b and then the first what we need is the count of the position a or b it doesn't matter it's the same so get count And now we have a count and because we want to iterate over this point, we need the range node. Put the count into the end and now we have here a range, we have iteration for, uh, for every po uh, point position here. So next we like to have the, those positions. So we need a get element. We need this two times, so for position A and position B, then the range goes into the index. And next you have to collect those two vectors, the position vectors into an array. So use a build node. Then data type is vector then we just need two vectors. So the first one and the second one. Now we have an array with the first uh, pos uh, position A and position B of every edge. So next we need our final array with all the vectors inside. So we use another build, build, also type is also vector, remove all of those. And then we use an append element, feed this in here and then append those two vectors into the final array. It generates a third collection. So it takes those two vectors and feeds it into the, our final array, our final uh, position array. Okay, and that's nearly everything we need for our assembly spline. So we use a assem assembly spline. And here we can feed in the, um, our final positions here into the points. Feed the geometry back. Then let's go back. Then click here on this button. So we see our output, feed this in here. And now we have our geometry, but um, there are too much um, segments at the moment. Uh, so we have to decide here inside the assembly spline, the, the segment count. Um, that's pretty easy. So we use an fill array node for this. Fill array. Then you have to decide the fill value, um, it's integers. So we put in here a two because um, every segment has two points. So every, every edge. So then we have to decide the length and the length is also the get count. So every edge, so we can use this one, put this here into the length and then the array here into the segments yeah and then we have can have a look here use the linear field and now it works exactly as expected so for comparison here the built-in edge to line you see there is a problem here and now our own edge to line. So, and this works perfect. Mm, yeah, that's it for this short one. Um, I hope this was helpful. 
Um, you can download it on Gumroad. You find this in the descriptions. And as always, if you have questions, let me know in the comments. And then I wish you a nice day and bye bye.